Listen, I'm just going to let you know this straight out that learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript alone does not make you a front end developer. And that, my friend, will not land you a front end developer role. Think about this there's literally no company out there that still develops their products using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript alone. There are other important technical and slightly non technical skills that you need to learn to be hireable as a front end developer in today's technology age and market. There are literally so many front end developer jobs out there. Everyone is applying, but only the people that have the right set of skills are getting those jobs. No one wakes up one morning and decides that they want to go learn React and decide to go apply for jobs after that. You guys are missing the big picture. There are so many important skills you need to learn and understand before applying for front-end jobs, and that's what we're going to be looking at in today's video. I'm going to walk you through an actionable guide that's going to help you learn the skills you need to become hireable as a front-end developer. I will also be recommending tutorials at the end of this video. These tutorials are what helped me and would definitely help you learn and understand everything I'm going to be talking about in this video. Let's get into it. The first thing you're going to need to do is, of course, learn HTML and CSS. I know that this might seem very obvious, but I don't just mean learn HTML and CSS. I mean learn and master HTML and CSS especially CSS. You're going to use HTML to develop the structure of your web page and CSS to style it. Those two things, as simple as they sound, are the base of every single website on the web, and that is why you need to take your time and learn it properly. The core of what you're going to be doing as a front-end developer at Meta, Google, Amazon, or literally any company is CSS. You need to understand how to manipulate a website style using plain CSS. Honestly, I've seen so many developers that hate CSS but still want to become front-end developers. Like, it doesn't work that way. Yes, I know, there are frameworks and libraries that handle CSS stylings for you. There is Stailwind, there is Bootstrap, there is Shared CN, and there is Magic UI. Those are all great libraries and you'll definitely use them on the job as a front-end developer. But the key question is, do you know how those styles and how those animations work under the hood? At your jobs, there are going to be days where you will need to tweak one of those libraries to fit the need of the job you are assigned. And if you don't know how those styles or how those animations work under the hood, you won't be able to do that. If you guys don't take anything from this video, the one thing you guys should hear and understand is that HTML and CSS is the core of everything and it is very important and you literally cannot escape it. Next thing is JavaScript. Just like I mentioned, HTML and CSS structures and styles your page. Well, JavaScript adds the functionality to those pages. Imagine you're building a car. HTML is the metal frame or the body of the car and CSS is the paint job. Then JavaScript is now the engine. Knowing and understanding JavaScript is kind of a must because 98.7% of the web runs and uses JavaScript. When you're learning JavaScript, you're also going to learn the fundamentals of programming. And when I say the fundamentals, I mean your loops, condition statements, data types, operators, control flows, and many more. These concepts are called the fundamentals because they're universal to any programming language you're going to learn and that is why it is very crucial for you to understand JavaScript and also understand the fundamentals of programming. But honestly, you don't have to worry about watching a separate video for the fundamentals of programming because if you're watching any beginner-friendly JavaScript tutorial, they will always walk you guys through the fundamentals of programming, which are those concepts I just talked about. And also, very importantly, you're going to need to understand how API works and I'm going to link a video in the description that properly explains what an API is. But in summary, an API is like a messenger that lets two different programs or systems talk to each other and share data or functionality. An example of programs or systems would be your front-end code or a weather service or your application's backend. And one of your major jobs as a front-end developer is to make API calls reaching out to those programs or services, which is typically the code the backend guys develop. They develop the API and they expose an endpoint to you guys. And an endpoint is simply a URL and it's your job to hit that specific endpoint or URL get the data, understand the data, and display it on the screen. Being able to properly and securely integrate an API into an app is a very crucial skill as a front-end developer. There are so many features like payment, authentication, real-time communication, maps that require connecting to either an internal or external service via APIs. And for you to be able to successfully do all these, you need to understand HTTP headers, authorization, authentication, JWT tokens, JSON objects, and many more. And again, I'm going to leave a video in the description that explains this properly. Next is version control. At this point, you should have gotten your feet wet a little bit and you should have built a couple projects and now it's time for you to understand how version control works. Version control is a system that tracks and manages changes to code files or projects over time. It allows multiple people to collaborate and also revert to the previous version of the code in case something is broken. And it also keeps a history of the edits made to a project, ensuring that nobody's work is lost or overwritten. An example of version control systems that is widely used in the industry is Git. Almost every software company uses Git 
to keep track of their code so it's essential for you to know how to use it you see it's the little things like this that actually matter you might be the best front-end developer the best programmer but not knowing how to use something as simple as Git can be an instant deal breaker. Collaboration is key when it comes to working at large organizations and there are so many developers working on the same code base at the same time, pushing changes, pulling changes, and Git is literally the brain behind all that to make sure nothing gets fucked up. And if you plan to work as a front-end developer, then you need to understand how all that works. Speaking of collaboration, one of the major things you're going to be doing as a front-end developer is collaborating with other developers to work on a project and Bitrix24 is the perfect tool for collaboration. Bitrix24 is the tool being used by top tech companies to help their employees collaborate efficiently and effectively. Bitrix24 is an all-in-one platform that helps front-end developers manage their tasks, collaborate with teams, and also keep track of client requirements all in one platform. It comes packed with features like task management, version control, and document sharing that streamlines the front-end development process. So let's say I have a team of developers working on my latest product, Scriblo. I can invite those developers to my team on Bitrix24. Once they accept, I can assign them to a project and create tasks for that project and assign those tasks to any members of the team. And this is where they literally took collaboration to the next level. You can directly have a video call with all the members involved in a particular task all with a click of a button without disturbing the rest of the team. And you know, this tool is very handy when it comes to sharing quick updates with the people involved with a specific task. There's also a chat feature where you can communicate, share files, and also do many more. Bitrix24 is literally an only one platform that can improve your team's collaboration. Go ahead and click the link in the description to create a free Bitrix24 account. Once you've gotten a hold of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Git, you've taken care of your basics and it's time to move on to more advanced technologies like JavaScript frameworks. Like I said earlier, there's literally no company that develops their front end using just HTML and CSS. And that is why I said in the beginning of this video that learning HTML and CSS alone won't land you a job. Every company out there uses some kind of framework on their front end. Google uses Angular, Facebook uses React, Amazon primarily uses React and a mix of other front end frameworks as well. Alibaba uses Vue.js as part of their front-end stack. Squarespace uses Serverlet.js as part of their stack. None of these companies use HTML and CSS to develop their front-end. They all use some kind of framework and that is why you need to pick a framework and learn it thoroughly. I honestly can't recommend one particular framework for you. Every framework has its pros and also has its cons. Just be strategic and also look at the job markets before selecting a framework to learn. Look at what's in demand in the job market and just learn it. If you're looking for a roadmap to learn a specific framework, Work, I definitely recommend you to check out roadmap.sh. They have a well detailed roadmap for every framework. In addition to learning a front end framework, there are also some other front end tools that are commonly used in the front end development industry. Tools like Redux, Tailwind, Bootstrap. Axios, ShadCN, or Magic UI. Redux is simply a centralized state management system for your front-end applications. It lets you update a state and also get data from a state from any components within your application. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check out Redux. Tailwind and Bootstrap are basically CSS libraries that consist of predefined classes. Axios is a JavaScript library that simplifies making HTTP requests. You can also use the inbuilt JavaScript fetch function. That is what I've been using honestly, but I've also learned that Axios is actually the industry standard. ShadCN and Magic UI UI are also CSS libraries, but they deal with predefined UI components like buttons, card, forms, and so many more. Now, the last two things I'm going to be talking about are testing and deployment. As a front-end developer, you will always be required to test your code, and there are a bunch of different tests that needs to be done before an application is made public or pushed into production. Examples are unit testing, integration testing, end-to-end -end testing, visual testing, accessibility testing, and also performance testing. But from my experience, there are only three JavaScript testing libraries that you will need to learn to perform all these testing operations I just listed, and that is Jest, Cypress, and Lighthouse. I'm going to link tutorials to those testing libraries in the description as well. When it comes to deployment, it honestly depends on what you're working on and what you're working with. The deployment process is going to be different, but just make sure you familiarize yourself with whatever deployment process is used for the technology or language you're working with. But it's also good to know how to use some commonly used hosting services like Vercel and Netlify. But yeah guys, like I promised, I've curated and listed some of the best tutorials that are going to teach you everything I just talked about. They are all free and they are all available here on YouTube. My advice is going to be, don't rush the learning process. 
everything we just talked about in this video, learning it and perfecting it will take you months or even years of consistent learning and practice. But just take your time and learn everything we just talked about in this video using the free resources I've provided in the description and also prioritize practicing. Just make sure you're always building something after you've learned a specific technology. It's going to help you solidify your understanding of that thing. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section and I'm going to do my best to respond to every single one of them. Guys, if you found this helpful, please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel. It helps YouTube recommend this to other developers as well. And also, if you're into Instagram, follow me on Instagram at levi.dev underscore underscore to watch some of my programming videos on Instagram. I do make some really interesting programming videos on Instagram and TikTok. So if you're interested, follow me on either TikTok or Instagram at levi.dev underscore underscore. I promise you're going to learn something from my Instagram. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.